Okay, so the first thing I do here is I'm going to loosen up the bearing in this uh, screw here and bring it back so that that way when I run the rail um, in, it's free on all sides so that way I have like a zeroing point to start from. So I'll push, push up against these two bearings here and then just uh, tighten the uh, jam screw here, the adjustment screw until it's just touching the rail. As you can see, the rail glides through the bearings uh, very nicely. Uh, doesn't seem to be leaving any shavings or, or burrs. Uh, and if you look down inside um, behind the rail uh, by these bearings and this bearing, uh, it should be gliding right on the webbing here of the rail and not really uh, touching the bottom at all or the uh, bottom spacer on any of the bearings. You can see how nicely that glides through. So now that we've uh, zeroed it out, we'll go ahead and start to adjust in a radius. And by doing that, you want to just go in uh, very small increments, such as you know, quarter of a turn. Because oftentimes that's all it takes to get it uh, just where you need it to be. So we insert it the same way um, as we did when we were zeroing it out. Usually you have to give it a little shove through it first. And pull it all the way through. And you can see and we, we put a uh, radius on it, very, very slight. So we'll go ahead and make a, uh, another adjustment here. And again, just very minor adjustments because it doesn't take much to, to bend it. Tighten everything back up. And here you can see we've uh, got a much, um, much more of a radius on this rail now. And uh, so at this point, you've gotten to where you, you're starting to get a radius on the rail, so go to your, your template or, or uh, your, your um, line you've drawn on the ground to see you know, how close you are to uh, the radius you need to be. So, um, yeah, so if you have any other questions, uh, don't, don't uh, hesitate to give me a call at uh, you know, number 330-346-0496. Hopefully this helps you out a little bit.